When you look at any Drupal site, you see four things. You see a theme, which is the basic layout of your site. You see menus, which again, depending on your theme, can be anywhere, and styled in any way. You see blocks, and a block is any area that contains information outside of a main module. And then you see the modules. In this section of the tutorial, we're going to look at all four of those, modules, themes, blocks, and menus. And this is going to really allow us to finish up our Drupal site. So the first step then is modules. When you think about modules, think features. Modules really are the most important part of your site. If you think about a feature on your website, then it's going to be controlled, most likely, by a module. We've briefly looked at this before, but let's just take a quick peek through. Drupal comes with a, an entire set of core modules. Core modules cannot be deleted, but they can be disabled. We enabled the blog module earlier, and that allows for people to write blogs, basically articles per user. We didn't look at the book module, but this is how you would enable it if you wanted. Just click Enable. Some of the ones that come with them are really great. The dashboard provides this structure up here. Get help, permissions, and configure it here. Again, anything that's grayed out can't be disabled, and nothing from the core can actually be deleted. This is an interesting one, PHP filter. If you know PHP, this allows you to actually put PHP code into your nodes. Really, really dangerous with that one. Depending on your user levels, someone could actually totally destroy your site. So if you're going to enable this particular module, encourage you to really set up strong user permissions, which we'll talk about in a little bit. We enabled the poll module earlier, and we enabled the taxonomy module earlier as well. Again, lots of other modules here. Each one comes with its own set of permissions and configurations. Some allow for configuration, some allow for permissions, and some just don't require anything like that. Let's take a look at the configuration for the image module. With the configuration here, we can add new styles or we can change a style. If I click on thumbnail, it's going to take an 800 by 600 image and it's going to size it down to 100 by 75. And I'm able to override all the defaults here and set up new ways that a thumbnail will be created. And so that's a quick and brief introduction to modules.